So now we're going to be finishing off this back part of the lock and smock stuff. Um, so you should get so far. I think I'll just have to take a minute or something. Um, so taking. Hmm, let's go with two bands here. Two lines here. Two lines here. Two lines here. And we're gonna go. We're gonna keep on going down this bit the entire way. Pretty much we're just making like the end of the bottom at the moment. So I'm gonna go down this entire room. Now I'm going to go down this row. Now we're going to go out at like that. And like that. Now we're going to go down a few times. See, I actually haven't designed this bit properly, so I'm kind of just winging it, but I'm sure it will look right. <laughs> um, oh yes, I forgot to mention, you've got to have your loam in this configuration. It's kind of weird. So it goes, the start on the side, it's up, down, up, up, down, up. So these two are rectangular to each other, but then it's offset for the other two. Um, sorry, I didn't tell you that before. It's just for this part. Really, for the rest of it, I'll do that, I guess. I guess. Continuing down. And now we're going to go from, let's go from there and to the other one on the other side. Now I'm going to go down on both sides. Okay, so that's what it should look like, that's what the rest of the body's going to look like. And then we're going to attach this, but first I'm going to put the horizontal bands on. So pretty much just up the middle, I'm going to be doing double loops. Like, all the way to here, I'm going to be doing single double loops. In the body colour, of course.
and we'll stop there. I'm now taking double bands. I'm going to do these triangle bands to come along. Okay. In here. And actually, I'll change that quickly. I'll put them upside down like that instead. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and I'll do the other side. Okay, now we're going to do some more single double loops. So we're going one here, one here. Now we're going to continue up. There's a double loop. A single double loop. And there we go. Okay. Now we can attach this. So getting your Loch Ness monster, you're going to attach him upside down. So taking careful not to confuse it with the flipper. I'm going to take this one first. Um, and this one. Oh, then be careful with this one that you get all the go through all the bands. Just be careful with that. So you don't want to miss any. This one again, make sure you get all those bands. Um, and then tap, stretch it over and attach that to the peg. And the last one, please. So now we need to do the flippers. So taking off this holding band on the edge here, whoops, and then take off the top two bands, um, hold them on your foot like that, push them to the back of it, go through this set, and attach it to that peg. So go through the next set of bands on that flipper. Now I'm going to Going through the set of bands, that peg, set of bands, that peg. Okay, now we're going to do the same again on this side. Um, so we're just going to take off that holding band, take off the top two bands. Um, and then going into this set of bands, we're going to put that over that peg, return these two bands that you took off. Now you're just going to attach the um, other sets of bands to the next pegs. Okay, so now we are ready to limit. Make sure you attached it upside down. 
because um, I've noticed when you pull it off the wood, the underside of it always looks a bit nicer than um, the like the underside of where your wood is. It always looks a bit nicer than the other side, this top side. Um, so. Now I'm going to ruin it. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to do these little ones first. Um, like this. Okay, stop there. One. Pull that back if you're having difficulty getting to those bottom two bands. Um, stop there. Now we're going to go on this side. Now we're just going to loom up to the top. There. Yeah. Then continue on to loom. And all the way to the end. Now we're going to do the other side and then we'll do it in a different order. So it's less confusing. Continue up. We're going to go up this one. And also, um, all these black holding bands, they're being troublesome and they're laying over the piece and stuff like that. Just be careful to take them out because otherwise, when you go to pull them out, they'll get stuck and you'll have to cut the band. Continue looming up. Now we're going to learn this long one. We're going to stop here. And we're going to this bit. Um, so just continuing. And you're going to learn all the way to the end now. Um, oh, so now I'm going to tie the end off with the new clips band. And so I'm going to use this one too. Okay, now I'm going to pull it off. having a quick look at it to assess if I have done it correctly. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong side. Whoops, there's a bit of a hole in there. That's not so beautiful. Um, oh, that's okay. No big deal. Um, so now we just need to do the tail. So, we're going to change the loom configuration to rectangular. Um, so, like that. And taking our body bands, this is what the tail fin look, one of the tail fin looks like. Tail fin? Tail fins look like. I'm going to make the other one. And I'm only going to make one. And then I'm going to show you. Um, I'm only going to show you how to make one. And then you'll go back and make the other. So, 
going down just make sure that my design look correctly. Just one. So I've got my design here. So then I've got the design in here. But okay. So So going down, I'm going to go down this side first, making double bands. I'll be going down four times. And now I'm going to go in once. That's just a normal stretch, that's not a big one for each. Now continuing down. where this one is. Oh, I can't believe I don't know if this one is. And then we're going to go one more in. As you can see, my nails are chipping away. <laughs> um, had it on for a week, so that's pretty good actually, considering that the loom, when you scrape your nails against it, the loom loves to chip off your whole polish. It gets really annoying. Um, so we're just continuing down. And then we're going to go across once like that. Across like that with double bands. And then we're going to go down this one. And One more. Now we're going to take the next one, we're going to go out from there and down. Now we're going to go out there, and continue down, get the yarn coming up on that bit, and we'll get one double loop bit, and then we're going to top it off. That will just give it a little point at the end. Like, you know how. Like, I'll show you. It'll just give it that little point at the end. Um, so now we're going to do horizontal bands. Make them double bands. And go down the next bit. And now we're just going to fill in the gaps with double loop bands. So starting down the bottom. I mean, you could also put one in there, there, and there, but I'm not going to. I might just put one over here. Oh no, I'm not going to go one. Oops. Here. Okay. There we go. That should do. Now we're going to loom it. So, coming from the bottom.
This one but not this one. Um, I say um too much. I'm going to knock them up this row. You just continue blurring up pretty much. And last but not least, I'll get rid of this one. Tying that off, we have a fin. Just pulling it off. A tail fin. And now I have two tail fins. Fantastic. Now let's quickly finish off the tail. And then we just need to pop something quickly. So I'm going to make that like that. Yeah. So that will need about, sorry, I'm just figuring out something. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. I haven't actually designed that part, so I just needed to figure it out. I'm going to be going from the eighth peg from the bottom, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is also the sixth from the top. So it's, it's a random peg right in the middle. Um, these two here, so that's the sixth from the top. Okay. Um, Actually, sorry, I'm going to confuse you more. We're going from the fifth from the top. Just like that. From the fifth from the top. Um, so, going down. Oh my gosh, sorry, wait. I've got to do something. Oh, take it off quickly. I'm changing it one more time. Last time. Okay. From the fourth from the top. I'm doing a double loop. Okay, now I'm doing a double loop. Okay, and then you're just going to go straight down. Okay, so we start at the fourth from the top. Sorry, I changed it so much.
So now I'm going to make this horizontal band, so it's single double loops. I've actually decided I don't want this long again. I'm just going to take off these bottom two and that horizontal band so it stops there. Okay, oh, I really need to make up my mind. Okay, put that back on. Sorry, I just want to get it as correct as possible because I don't want it being too long or too short, but we'll see. Um, so now getting in the tail fins, you may notice that they curve a certain way, or if you try and bend them one way, they'll curve back the other way. Like, mm, how do I explain it? So let's say one side, you'll know which one is which, because one side will look kind of nice and the other side just a bit off, like this side looks ugly. And the side that looks better is the top side. You can use it as the top side. I'm not explaining this very well, but um, you just choose which fin, but they each have a little bit of a curve in them, like with this one. So you're going to attach it curved upwards. Um, this is really, it's a really vague concept and hard to explain, sorry. You kind of just have to know, but I'll try one more time. So like, you just want to do it so it will curve when you pull these together, it will curve a certain way. Like when you pull all these four ends together, it will naturally curve a certain way. That's the wrong side. And the way that it doesn't curve is the right side. So you want to put it right side down and wrong side up. Okay, finally got there. Um, so starting with, because this is where the main body is going to go on this end, and the fin's going to be towards that end, like the little inner bit. So, I'm going to attach it this way. Start the end of the fin. So this is the side with the little point on it. I'm going to attach it there. One there. One there. I'm just going to do this sideways for a moment. I don't know which way it's going to go on your screen. Probably might go the right way up or upside down. I'm not sure, but it's just easier for me to attach it this way. This one. Okay. So now you've attached that fin. Now getting the other one, yeah, so that one will start at the end, I'm attaching it on this peg, and this is straight on. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to push that down so they don't fall off. Cool, so now grabbing your Loch Ness Monster, or the main body part, you're going to get it upside down, so it's on the wrong side. Um, attaching it upside down, you're going to put it Now I'm just going to loom it. You've got to go down past all those bands. 
and get only the bottom two. So make sure not to get the horizontal one either. I got an extra. Okay. And I'm just going to stop there. Um, going up this side. Now I'm going to loom in, loom up, and then loom this last one. Okay, now I'm going to get a single band. Um, it has to, this one has to be the body colour because we're not going to take this one off. Awesome, that's so cute. Okay, this is your Loch Ness Monster. So now it's not done yet. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to make the stomach pretty much. Um, you can take off before you do the stomach if you want. You can take off all these holding bands. I'm just going to try and take off as many as I can right now. Because I think I might just continue through and do the stomach straight away. And I'm going to be doing the stomach white because it'll contrast to this green colour ish. Um, Because I don't want to have all of these bands hanging around when I'm trying to attach the stomach. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of some of these bands. One. I can't get rid of this one. I messed a few up with the top on the shoulder here too, which sucks. But anyway, at least it wasn't like a double loop band that I missed. Just continuing to take the thing off. Okay. And this one. I just want to get rid of these so when I attach the stomach. Whoops. I did it again. Um, if you're not done with that, continue doing that. I just need to go ask someone. To, I forgot to get the stomach stuff in, so I'm going to go get. 